Hey guys, I wanted to get on here and read the um, nonfiction text for you guys this week. So this week we are reading about fascinating frogs. Um, here is a table of contents that tells you what each page um, provides information about. So let's go ahead and get started. Introduction. Ribbit, even toddlers recognize the sounds of a frog. Why do you think that that is? Why are we so fascinated with this animal? Is it because their croak is so different than the sounds that most other animals make? Or is it because some species of frogs can leap 20 times their own length in one jump? I'm not sure what the reason for the fascination is, but I do know a few things about frogs. Frogs are amphibians that lay their eggs in or near water. Frogs will go through a complete metamorphosis, also known as major change, in their lives. During the tadpole phase, they have gills but will develop lungs so that they can breathe air. Frogs don't drink water like we do. They soak it up through their skin. There are around 4,780 different species of frogs within slightly different behaviors, or with slightly different behaviors and appearances. Let's take a closer look at a few of those frogs. So when it talks about species, that's talking about the different types of frogs. Um, behaviors is how they act. Appearances, appearances is how they look. And then amphibians is the type of, anim of um, animal that they are. Like we're mammals. They're amphibians, kind of like a snake or a lizard. And then metamorphosis, as it says right here, is known as a major change. So metamorphosis is a change, a major change. Okay, so let's read, our first let's read about our first species of frogs. Poison dart frog. The rainforests of Central and South America are home to one of the world's most poisonous animals, the poison dart frog. The bright colors are not just for fashion purposes. They are a warning to predators to be aware of their toxicity. Toxicity is their poison. For example, the golden poison dart frog could kill 20,000 mice with the poison inside of its body. The frog's skin is covered in the poison just so just one lick of its skin could mean death for a predator. But what about the dart poison? But what about the dart part of their name? You guessed it. Their poison is extracted and used on the ends of hunter da hunter's darts to make these weapons even more dangerous. So when it means hunter's darts, it's like darts, like the like a dart game that you would throw. But hunters use these darts inside guns to hunt animals. And so sometimes they use the poison on these darts to, <clears throat> to um, shoot at the animals so that they're um, killed or that they're put to sleep. Bullfrog. The bullfrog gets its name due to its loud, deep croak and how similar it is to a cow's moo. Bullfrogs are semi-aquatic, which means that they live near the edge of freshwater ponds and lakes. They eat insects, mice, snakes, fish, and other small creatures. They lunge at their food and swallow it whole. The female bullfrog lays up to 20,000 jelly-like eggs at one time. Once eggs become tadpoles, it will take them a year to develop its full-blown frogs, to develop into full-blown frogs. The male frog will hang around to protect the tadpoles, and he will attack any predator that tries to harm the tadpoles. Bullfrogs help us out by eating mosquito larvae and keeping the mosquito population from getting out of control. Our next species of frog is called the leopard frog. The leopard frog is known for its large circular spots on its back. These spots act as camouflage by helping it blend in with its surroundings. This adaptation protects the frog from predators. I'm going to stop right there. Adaptation means how it adapts to its changes. So um, it's saying that the spots act as camouflage. So the spots help it hide in the ground or in the grass so that it is not it's not visible so that other animals cannot see it. So when it means that it, it's adaptation, the frogs have changed their skins and changed their colors over time so that predators don't eat them. All right, going back to the reading. The leopard frog is also known as the meadow frog because it can live in large open fields or even mountains. Most frogs live right next to fresh water to ensure that their skin stays moist. When the leopard frog is away from permanent water, is away from a permanent water source, it will rest in small holes like a ditch that creates that it creates with its own body. 
During the winter, leopard frogs hibernate under rocks, mud, or underwater. The leopard frog that can the leopard frog that can leap eight feet in one jump is the state amphibian for both Vermont and Minnesota. Red-eyed tree frogs. Like other frogs, the red-eyed tree frog begins its life in eggs, then changes into a tadpole and eventually becomes a frog. The bright colors of their eyes and legs are a defense mechanism known as startle coloration. So a defense mechanism is it means it's a tool that the frog has so, um, to defend itself. The shocking colors usually cause predators to freeze and gives the tree frogs enough time to escape. <clears throat> red, red eyed tree frogs are nocturnal amphibians who most like who mostly eat insects or frogs that are similar than they are that are similar similar I'm sorry that are smaller than they are and we know nocturnal means that they sleep at night they sleep during the day and they're awake during the night <clears throat> red eyed tree frogs also have suction cup toes that help them cling to tree branches Female tree frogs lay their eggs on the underside of leaves that hang over water. This is very strategic because when the tadpoles emerge from their eggs, they will be washed down the leaves right into the water where they will stay until they are developed enough to climb up into trees. The horned frog. Oh, this one looks kind of cool. Horned frog. The most common horned frog is the Argentina wide mouth frog. These frogs can be found in the rainforests of South America. They are known as greedy eaters as they will attempt to eat anything that moves close to them from lizards to birds to small mammals. They will remain motionless until they spot their prey. Then they will shoot out their extremely sticky tongue, let it hit their prey, then retract, which means to come back in, their tongue back into their mouth. Their strong jaws will slam shut, preventing their prey from escaping. If a larger predator tries to eat them, the horned frog will bite it. The pointy pieces over their eyes act as another element of camouflage, which we talked about this earlier, which means to help them hide, as they lo look like leaves on the ground. The glass frog. This I think this one's my favorite. Like many interesting frogs, the glass frog is native to Central and South America. His skin is so translucent that you can see his beating heart and other organs. Translucent means see-through. Many people mistake the glass frog for the tree frog, but they have several differences. As far as their appearance, the main difference is that glass frogs have large forward-facing eyes, whereas the tree frog has eyes on the side of its head. Glass frogs are territorial, which means that they claim an area as their own. Male glass frogs will warn other male glass frogs with a loud croak, but he will also become aggressive with other glass frogs that try to come into their area. Frogs are quite the fascinating creatures. Can you find similarities in the behavior of these frogs to other animals we have studied? And then over here is the glossary, which defines any words that you might still be confused about that were covered in the reading. So once you finish, do, once you finish listening to this video, you're going to complete the activity. Um, I don't have it on here, but it is going to be... Um, rather a craft or a writing. Um, so you're going to complete the frog, um, the frog activity that I will be passing out to you after you finish this video. Thanks guys.